Hey, it's Steve Wilshire. Welcome back to day two of my seven day video series on how to diminish anxiety and depression. So, what did we talk about yesterday? You got to break your state. You got to break your state. You know what? Most of you don't really need to be on any kind of antidepressant or go have a drink or go smoke some pot or go do something destructive, it's going to just screw you up in the long run. Yet at the end of the day, you don't feel good when you have to find some kind of external source to break your stay. What you're really after is you want to feel powerful. You know, when you feel powerful and you notice that you're noticing yourself, you're actually witnessing yourself from a distance, make these moves that you never used to make that start to have you feel more empowered. Now I can tell you for many, many years, Gosh, going back, man, I drank, I got high, I did. I'm going back to my earlier years and all the stuff that I externally felt like I needed to wake up. And I never did get in on antidepressants. And when I started studying Tony Robbins and Jim Rome and just started studying all sorts of psychology and mindset on anxiety and depression, Man, I started realizing that it's all down really about esteem. It comes down to esteem. And esteem is meeting your standards. Esteem is feeling powerful in the moment. And I'm going to teach you five questions right now that can wake you up when you are feeling some kind of trigger. And what happens is this trigger starts to put you in this drift. And this drift is when you caught up, get caught up in your own emotions and you can't get out of it. <clears throat> and then you end up hitting the pit. And when you hit the pit, everything's all, you know what, effed up. And so when you hit the pit, it's when you feel bad and then you divert, you just start to degress and, and you have to get out of it. So I wanted to show you how to do this drift and shift. So when you're in the drift and you're able to wake up to it, you make the shift. So all these details are in my ebook, but let's talk about this and how this is going to work out. When you start noticing, you wake up to the fact that you're in some kind of diminished emotion. All of a sudden you're realizing, I don't like how I'm feeling. I don't like how I'm participating in this situation. I don't like that I'm starting to react. And then you start usually reacting more or you start going down that spiral downward journey. You first gotta be aware of it. When you do, you ask yourself the first question, what are emotions that I'm feeling? I'm pissed off, I'm upset, I have anxiety, I'm sad, I'm mad, I'm frustrated. You first have to identify what is the emotion. Second, you ask yourself specifically about what? You gotta identify what is it specifically that you're frustrated about. Sometimes it's one thing. Sometimes it's a multitude of things, especially if you're dealing with anxiety where you're just overwhelmed and you start to think, okay, specifically about what? Then the third question you ask yourself, what are different perspectives or options? Now, perspectives are viewpoints where options are very, very specific. And then fourth, you say to yourself, what could or might I do to break my state? This is more about possibility. Those two key words are might and could. What you're trying to identify right here is, okay, what could I do to kind of shift my state? Then you say your fifth question, what will I commit to? Now, I remember the first time I practiced that many years ago after practicing and learning this from a coach. I was in the state, I couldn't get out of it, I was getting ready to travel the next day, I was so overwhelmed, and I didn't, it wasn't giving my kid time, I had so much stuff to get accomplished, I'm literally at the gym, I got weights right on my thighs, I'm ready to work out, and I just stopped, could, could tell I was just, like, had so much anxiety, and I, th I said, well, how am I feeling? I answered that question. And then I said, specifically about what? I haven't spent any time with my kid. I gotta get home and get to work. I'm gonna be up late. I have an unfinished follow-up. My son, I feel so bad. I haven't spent any time with him. He's in the kid's care. And then I started to ask myself these questions and what were options. And at the end of the day, I realized it was simple. I'm staying up all night. 
I'm gonna spend time with my kid, I'm gonna get my follow-up done, I'm gonna get prepared for my seminar, and I'm going to pack late and I'm gonna sleep on the airplane. But you're, that's the whole idea is you wanna to get to a state of power. So hey, all the details are on my ebook, How I Diminished Anxiety and Depression Without Being on Drugs, and you can download that. All the details are right there in the post. Hey, if you want more, and you want to take your health to another level, emotional, physical, spiritual health, find us at facebook.com forward slash body temple LLC. Join the movement. Let's do it. Have a beautiful day. Love and success.